highlights. Everybody find out that everybody really liked the art. That's good. <laughs> and it's nice to about the other the rest of the the Bible reading as well. Very nice job as usual. Next, let's give our attention to Ian Todd. He's going to read for us Jeremiah 46, 18 through 28. As I am alive and is the utterance of the king whose name is Jehovah, of armies like Tabor among the mountains and like Carmel by the sea, he will come in. Make for yourself mere baggage for exile, O inhabitress, the daughter of Egypt, for Noph itself will become a mere object of astonishment and will actually be set afire. So as to be without an inhabitant, Egypt is as a very pretty heifer. From the north of a mosquito to itself will certainly come against her. Furthermore, her hired soldiers in the midst of her, her are like fattened calves, but they themselves also have given Way. They have fled together, they have not made a stand, for the very day of their disaster has come in upon them, the time of their being given attention. Her voice is like that of a serpent that goes along for with vital energy, men will go and with axes they will actually come in to her like those who are gathering pieces of wood they will certainly cut down her forest is the utterance of jehovah for a could for it could not be penetrated for they have become more more numerous they the then the Little custom, they are without number. The daughter of Egypt will certainly feel shame. She will actually be given into the hand of the people of the north. Jehovah of armies, the God of Israel, has said, Here I am, turning my attention upon Ammon, from Noah and upon Pharaoh, and upon Egypt, and upon her gods and upon her kings, even upon Pharaoh, and upon all those trusting in him. And I will give them into the hand of those sinking for their soul, and into the hand of Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, and into the hand of his servants. And afterward, she will be recited, and as in the days of old is the utterance of Jehovah. And as for you, do not be afraid, O my servants Jacob, and do not be terror and stricken, O Israel. For here I am saving you from far away of your offspring, from the land of their captivity. And Jacob will certainly return and have no disturbance and be at ease without anyone causing trembling. As for you, Jacob, do not be afraid, O oh, my servant Jacob, is the utterance of Jehovah, for I am with you. For I shall make an extermination among all the nations to which I you, which I have dispersed you, but with you I shall make no extermination. Yet I shall have the chast chastise you to the proper degree, and I shall absolutely not leave you unpunished. Nice job. Like the, like the, how we 
actually put a lot of practice into it to emphasize certain places like the way you did, the pausing that you had as well, even the changing of your, the tone of your voice when someone else was speaking. So it's very nice. You can definitely see how the, how the school has helped you in your reading. Very nice job. What he was working on is found on page 121. And this, is, this was the worst one I think I ever had to do. And this was uh, gestures and facial expressions. His brother had me work on this like three or four times in a row. And back then you could say bad things about people at one stage too. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> But uh, you did a very, you did a nice job. You could see the, uh, especially in the beginning, you tried, you tried the hand gestures. You said you were going to do more facial ones, and so I was looking for the facial ones, and you did a couple of them. But even in the beginning, you did a couple of the hand ones as well. So it was a nice job. It talks about what you need to do. It says use movements of the hands, the shoulders, or the entire body to express ideas, sentiments, or attitudes. It says use the eyes and the mouth as well as the positioning of the head to reinforce the spoken word and to convey feelings. Now, let me ask a question to the audience. Why would gestures and facial expressions be important in the ministry? Other words. Go ahead. To add life to our presentation. Mm, yep. Very good. Brother or Sister St. Ange. We use, them, we use them in everyday speech, so it, it makes us seem real that we really believe what we're saying. What's one of the simplest ones that we can do? Sister Mitchell? Smile. Smile. It works really well. Yeah. Matter of fact, that's what it says right here in the book. It says, a warm smile confirms. Well, unless you probably read the rest of the paragraph. It says, whether you are on the platform or participating in the field ministry, you are endeavoring to share with people a message that is pleasant, one that can make their hearts rejoice. A warm smile confirms that. Something very easy is just smiling when you come up to the door, you know, and how that can put them at ease as well. So, just some things to keep in mind. Thank you for doing that for us. Next, I invite you to turn 